Welcome to the NIOS studio. In this video, we are going to talk about Vedic age. The Vedic age marks a new phase in ancient Indian history. which began with the arrival of the Aryans in India around 1500 BC. It lasted for almost a thousand years. In the course of which a number of economic, social, political and religious developments took place. The Vedic age is accordingly divided into two periods of about equal duration, early Vedic period and later Vedic period. Have you heard of the Vedas? They are the most important source of information on the Vedic age. The early Vedic period is known mainly from the Rig Veda. which was the first Veda to be composed. The early Vedic people generally led a nomadic life and did not stay for long at any place. Their economy was mainly pastoral. Cattle rearing was the chief means of livelihood. Horses, goats and sheep were also important. A little agriculture was also practiced. Family, clan and tribes were the social units and there were no castes. The chief of the tribe was called Raja. Popular assemblies of all members of the Janas called Sabhas and Samitis had an important say in public affairs. A number of deities were worshipped in 
Indra being the most important of them. The later Vedic literature comprised of the following books. That is the three Vedas. Samaveda, Yajurveda, and Atharva Veda. A large number of sites belonging to this period have also been excavated. They are all marked by a typical pottery called painted greyware and so are known as PGW. During the later Vedic period, there was a large scale eastward movement of the Aryan communities to Indo Gangetic Doab and Upper Ganga Plains. Towards the end of the period, three important kingdoms came up further on eastern side, Kashi, Koshala, and Videha. Agriculture was now the main occupation. The number of crops including rice, wheat, and sugarcane were grown. Crafts also multiplied. Iron weapons and tools were introduced. People now led a settled life in villages. Castes began to emerge and crystallize in the form of four Varnas. Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. The powers of the king and his man increased. And those of the assembly were were proportionately undermined. Sacrifices now became very elaborate 
the importance of the god Indra receded new gods such as praja pati figured prominently towards the end of this period a reaction to the sacrificial ritual could also be observed which we find mentioned in the upanishads the post vedic age in the 6th century bc there came up large territorial states in northern and eastern india known as mahajan padas there were 16 such states namely anga magadha vaji kashi koshala malla kuru panchala vatsa avanti कंबोजा गंधारा असाका चेदी मत्स्य and shura sena among them magadha kosala and avanti were the most powerful the extension of agriculture growth of trade and industries rise of territorial states and beginning of urbanization gave rise to new forces in the society does the 6th century bc was also a period of socio religious transformation people expressed their dissatisfaction against the ritualistic brahmanism
and Vedic sacrifices. There emerged numerous sects and reformatory movements. This period called the ancient period in history saw the rise of the two important religions called Jainism and Buddhism. Buddhism. Gautama Buddha the founder of Buddhism was born in 563 BC. At Lumbini which is situated near the Indo-Nepal border. He was the son of Shudhodhana, the chief of Shakya of Kapilavastu At the age of 29 Gautama left home and attained Bodhi at Bodhgaya under a people tree. He delivered his first sermon at Sarnath near Varanasi. His teachings included four noble truth, Arya Satya and Eightfold Path. His Hindi name is Ashtangika Marg. According to Buddha, the world is full of misery, dukkha. Desire, Trishna is the cause of this misery. If desire is conquered, then all sorrows can be removed. This can be done by following the eightfold path. Which included right memory, right aim, 
right speech, right action, right livelihood, right efforts, right memory and right meditation. Buddha suggested a middle path away from both extreme luxury as well as extreme austerity. He also laid down a code of conduct such as non-killing and non-stealing for his followers. He died at the age of 80, 483 BC. at Kushi Nagar in Uttar Pradesh. Jainism Rishabhanath, the first Tirthankar, is known to be the founder of Jainism. Vardhamana Mahavira was the 24th Tirthankar of this sect, Parswanath being the 23rd, Mahavira was born in 540 BC. at Kunda Gram near Vaishali in Bihar. His father was a chief of Jhatrika Kshatriya Mahavira became an ascetic at the age of 30 years and died at Pavapuri in 4, 6, 8 BC near Raja Griha. His followers came to be known as Jainas. Jainism had no place for supreme creator. It recognized the existence of gods but placed them lower than the Jaina teacher. The main aim of Jainism is the attainment of freedom from worldly bonds. Like Buddhism, Jainism opposed the ritualistic practices and evils of Vedic Brahmanism. It also opposed the caste system and 
and accepted the doctrine of karma and rebirth. Jainism has five cardinal principles. Ahimsa or non-violence, truthfulness, abstention from stealing, non-attachment, calibacy or brahmacharya. The three jewels, three ratna of Jainism are right vision, this is samyak darshana, right knowledge, this is samyak jnana, right conduct, this is samyak charita. In this video, we discussed about post Vedic age, pre Vedic age, Buddhism and Jainism. I hope you have understood it well. Thank you for watching.